Hello everyone and welcome to Have Faith Let It Begin on this amazing night. I say nighttime because by the time you guys listen to this, um, I have already been home and am ready to sleep because I had to get called into work to do an overnight position. So today technically is Wednesday, June 21st, 2023. And this is Half Faith Let It Begin. Anything can happen when you least expect it. And it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin on this, uh, uh, what is nighttime for me, daytime for you episode. Uh, this is going to be on the video format because it's nighttime. Um, I'm hoping that the night vision will look good. If not, I apologize in advance, but we are doing video format. So uh, there will be moments where you'll see some lights and then moments where you won't. So with that being said, welcome to the longest day of the year. Um, today is June 21st, 2023. Shout outs to a good friend of mine, uh, Chris M, otherwise known as Munger. Uh, happy birthday to you, my friend. Tomorrow's a very special day. My daughter Ariel graduates from pre-K. It's my brother Eric's birthday. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, today, I wanna tell you about things that can just happen out of the blue. You know, when we are accustomed, when we're not accustomed to getting phone calls or situations that arise about things that are just out of our control, you have to roll with the punches. And this happened to me this evening. You know, I was just getting home from work from physical therapy, the phone rang and boom, Next thing you know, I'm coming back into work in the in the next seven hours, seven hours later. So here I am driving to work to work an overnight position. Uh, not the greatest you know shift you want to work, but things have to be done. You're a team player. You got to take the hit for the team sometimes, but you got to do what you can to make things and make ends meet. This happens to us here on our in our daily life as well. You know, the unexpected can happen. And what we have to do is realize that things happen for a reason. We can't explain it, we can't predict it, but one thing is for sure, God always has a plan. So many of us have dealt with so many things in the last 24 to 48 hours. We've dealt with loss, we've dealt with uh, depression, we've dealt with sickness, illness. We are continuing to deal with the um, unexpected. How do we overcome that? Just re recently I watched a movie called um, the little girl um, who believes in miracles. And if you haven't checked it out, it's on Pure Flex. I encourage you to do that. This little girl inspired me. Um, it is a fictional story, um, but it, she truly inspired me. The character about having faith, about having the ability to, to believe that God is with you always. So when we do things or when we have things happen to us that we just can't explain, when we're in a situation where things are out of our control, we have to understand that things are being done for a reason. We have to sometimes expect the unexpected and not allow anything or anyone to steal that joy. And we have to just push forward and allow things to happen and fall as they may. So today, as you're going about your day, remember that God is with you, that God believes in you, that God trusts you, and that God's never gonna leave your side. Because even though the unexpected may occur, God is with you to make things right to make things feel comfortable and to put us in the right frame of mind. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant to each and every single one of you peace on earth. And before we say the major line, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for what you've given us. We ask you, Lord, now more than ever to be with us, to guide us, to continue to keep us on the right path and allow us the opportunity to know that you are with us. Blow the Holy Spirit into us. Blow that beautiful, fresh breeze into our minds and into our souls and allow us to hear the words that you're with us. We continue to lift up in prayer those that are in the hospital, our aunts and uncles, our cousins, our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews, our children, our grandparents, and of course our parents. We finally lift up in prayer the 17-year-old girl with her eyes. May she continue to see clearer each and every day. We pray for Helen. We pray for Adriana. We pray for um, the Kennedy family. We pray for Pastor Jim. 
We pray for Joe. We pray for Mansa. We pray for each and every one of you that inspire us to be better people each and every day. We lift up in prayer Carol, her husband. We pray for most of all of the Half Faith Letter Begin uh, community that don't ever get a chance to reach out to us and say, hey, pray for me. I'm praying for you. And finally, remember this. God is with you and God loves you. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Have a good one, guys. See you. I'm going to sleep when you guys wake up and hear this. Bye-bye. And by the way, Melody, I haven't forgot about you, girl. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) improve. She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.